So with the Australian Open done and dusted for another year, we have some controversy that's come out of the women's final with Alina Rabakina and her coach. After he kind of, I guess, was a little bit over the top on the sidelines as the coach, he was very, very vocal, very uh, seemingly very aggressive, according to some. And Pam Shriver actually has come out and said uh, that she doesn't really like the fact that he is coaching the way he is. And of course, she coaches Donna Vekic. So let's go have a look at what she had to say over on Twitter. This is what Pam Shriver had to say. As I watched Rebecca going to try to win her second major in seven months. I hope she finds a coach who speaks and treats her with respect at all times and does not ever accept anything less. So as I mentioned, Pam Shriver is the coach of Donna Vekic, a fellow tennis player on the tour. And there were a lot of people that did have the same mindset of like, it looked weird that her coach was so vocal and seemingly so disappointed when she would lose points. But Rebecca has come out in support of her coach and this is what she had to say over on social media. After a great AO, I have seen some disturbing comments on social media about the behavior of my coach, Stefano Vukov. I want to clarify any misinterpretation. Stefano has believed in me for many years before anyone else did. We plotted a strategy together in how I could achieve great things and his method shows in my Grand Slam success so far. He is a passionate coach with a lot of knowledge about tennis. Unlike people that are making these comments, he has great knowledge about me as a person and as an athlete. Those who know me well will know that I would never accept a coach that didn't respect me and all our hard work. I may be quiet on court and in general, but inside me is a competitive athlete that wants to achieve great things and Stefano has helped me greatly in this way. So please disregard any fake news to the contrary. There you have it. That is what Rebecca had to say uh, defending her coach. And look, we do see the coaches in the box pretty much every single match for every single player. And they're usually very quiet. They usually sit there, you know, they don't really do too much. We see a little bit from like, you know, Sidney Pass's dad, who's his coach. He gets a little vocal. Uh, Djokovic also, his camp get a little vocal uh, at times. But what do you think down in the comments below? How do you think about this whole thing? Because obviously every coach is different. Every coach has their way of going about things, uh, but it's definitely working for them. She's made two finals in three Grand Slams, and she's also got Wimbledon, so it clearly works for them, but what do you reckon about Pam Shriver's comments and also Rebecca's response defending her coach?